Alright, what's happening you lot? How you doing? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, and I do hope you lot are doing well. And welcome to today's video, which is a bit of a throwback video. It's the kind of content I used to make early doors on Football Therapy, where I will be talking about Reese James, the superstar right back, right winger, defensive midfielder, general baller, Reese James. A lot of comparisons to talk about his ceiling, where he'll end up on the pitch, and how good can he really be? But before we do get into the content today, I'd like to request that you there subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so already. Please do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon if you want to support me, like the video, comment down below, and all that luck. Right, let's get into the... I was about to say content, which is video and content together. Let's just get into it. Right, I've recalibrated my brain and I've learned to speak English. So let's talk about Chelsea's right back, Rhys James. Obviously very, very young and he just turned 20 years old, yet looks like he has a wealth of experience playing football. And more importantly, looks completely unfazed in playing at the highest level. And I'm talking about the highest level. I'm talking about playing against Ajax in the Champions League, scoring against Ajax in the Champions League, playing away in North London. The guy just does not not care about his opposition he uh, just goes into every single game with the utmost confidence so what's his skill set I mean everyone's starting to talk about Reese James now I mean when I say everyone I mean people around world football pundits journos other football fans other than Chelsea fans obviously everyone's starting to take notice because you know he's a baller but a lot of Chelsea fans have known about Reese for a while now certainly Frank Lampard Jody Morris more Jody Morris and Joe Edwards have known about his skill set and ability for years and years and years after coaching him in the youth setup. Reese James went on loan away to Wigan the last season where he was absolutely sublime, pretty much demonstrating all the ability he's been demonstrating in the Chelsea first team. Obviously everyone's seen his immaculate delivery and passing, he was doing that over and over and over in that Wigan side. In fact, you could say Rhys James was robbed of a whole bunch of assists due to poor finishing in that Wigan side, like he did uh, for the Chelsea side recently, putting in those perfect crosses but no one meeting them. He was often finding himself without assists when essentially he should be getting assists. You catch my drift? He was Wigan's best player. He won player of the season for Wigan. Remember, he was a teenage lonely right back. And furthermore, he was actually moved into midfield to use his physicality and technical ability to prevent Wigan from getting relegated, which he did. Not only was he player of the season, he was also given the captain's armband in the latter parts of that season, kind of, I guess, to just say thank you or as a sort of acknowledgement of how great he's been for them and how important he was in them maintaining their championship status and just how he'd performed so exceptionally well. So let's move it forward a little bit. The championship's obviously like a big slug. It really does test young players to see if they can deal with the physicality of first team football. Like when Tammy Abraham went to Bristol City as a teenager down in the championship and he broke the scoring record down there for a teenager. He showed he could deal with like the physical side of it. To be honest, I don't think anyone ever had any doubts about Reese James and dealing with physicality. Although he's not the tallest footballer you've ever seen, he's super, super wide and muscular and never, ever gets bodied off the ball. In fact, you can often find him winning challenges fairly, but damaging the opposition. <laughs> so let's talk about his skill set properly then. Very, very physically strong, fast, he's got a superb engine, he can get up and down the right flank incredibly well. Obviously, positionally, he's very, very flexible. He can sort of play right wing back, right back, midfield. Apparently, he can play on the left back position as well. Incredibly, incredibly versatile. We've all seen his delivery is second to none. People are already comparing his delivery to Trent Alexander-Arnold in terms of just putting in constant immaculate balls. Now, Alexander-Arnold is probably widely regarded as the best passing right back in world football, but Rhys James, as it stands, has done nothing to show that he can't do the same stuff. In terms of crossing, he absolutely matches Trent Alexander-Arnold. They both put in immaculate crosses over and over and over, but Rhys James is yet to demonstrate his full range of passing ability. A superb part of Trent Alexander-Arnold's game is he makes these sort of more narrow, narrow, long diagonal balls across the pitch, which Rhys James can do as well, but he hasn't done it properly in the first team yet at Chelsea. 
but I'm sure he will. Now, he is a superb defender, Reese James, and this is where a lot of you know, hyperbolic Chelsea fans can start coming out saying, well, Reese James is a better right back than Trent Alexander-Arnold because not only has he got the distribution up there, he's got the engine getting up and down. He's got maybe, well, he is more physical than Trent Alexander-Arnold inherently because he's just sort of more muscular and wider and you can see him never getting bodied off the ball ever. I mean, that's not really up for debate. He's more of a physical specimen than Trent Alexander-Arnold. But people are starting to say he defends better. There was a small amount of time, now Liverpool are an immaculate team, but there was a small amount of time earlier this season where people said, mm, there is a weakness if you can get the ball over Trent Alexander-Arnold because he doesn't look so great defensively. Now in the defense of Trent Alexander-Arnold, he doesn't really need to be. The way Liverpool play and defend is so perfect systemically that it allows the fullbacks to stay forward all the time really so he's playing in such a way Trent Alexander-Arnold where you can just demonstrate his immense ability constantly but someone like Reese James has to track back he has to defend he's had to do it a lot more obviously down in the championship with Wigan but indeed with Chelsea in the top flight now as well much like Reese James Alexander-Arnold can play other places on the pitch and some people are actually speculating that he will end up in a different position than right back interestingly he actually started as a mid Fielder and moved to the right back position to get into the Liverpool side. I heard him say that himself in an interview. It's an interesting one with Reese James as well because he offers so so much ability in terms of his crossing, physicality. We've seen him invert and go on the underlap and take the ball right up to the byline, cut back, not just crosses. He obviously can score great goals. He scored that goal against Ajax. He can assist. He can uh, you, basically he can do it all. Defensively sound, superb at retaining possession in terms of dribbling and combining in close sort of spaces amazing at attacking overlapping underlapping crossing back uh, cutting back crossing whatever the list goes on attacking defending physical fast engine never stops so he's got it all literally and he's 20 years old he's just turned 20 out of the three sort of young up-and-coming promising right backs in England he's the youngest he's younger than wan and he's younger than Trent Alexander-Arnold wan is the best interceptive right back in probably world football I'd say in terms of his tackling ability and just getting the ball back anywhere on the pitch but there's a lot of other parts of wan game that he's yet to develop. Obviously Alexander-Arnold, for my money right this second, is probably the best offensive fullback in world football right now. But if you look at someone like Reese James, he's kind of the whole package. He's good defensively, good offensively, and he's good at combining. Obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold's immense at combining, but you put uh, Reese James in the Chelsea team as long as Trent's been in the Liverpool team I think we've got a very interesting battle of the right backs moving forward for England. Sure it's a bit of a hype train at the moment and it's early doors in his Chelsea first team career Reese James but it does look like the young right back's got it all. He can play anywhere on the pitch it would seem and he's in terms of skill set he can do anything really so it's easy to be on the hype train but I'm definitely on the hype train. I'm not necessarily driving it because I want the lad to develop, but I'm probably in the first or second carriage of said hype train. <laughs> so can Reese James become the best right back in world football? Yes, he's 20 years old. He's got an amazing skill set. He's playing in an attacking top four team in the Premier League. And as long as he remains first choice, maybe gets himself into the England squad, he, he literally has got a career going one way. Bearing in mind he's been coached by Frank Lampard, other young coaches at Chelsea that like to develop attacking talent. Ashley Cole's at the club in terms of one of the best fullbacks in Premier well, the best fullback in Premier League history, Ashley Cole, I'd say. And he's come out and said Reese James has got delivery like David Beckham. High praise indeed, and Ashley Cole would know. He obviously played quite closely to David Beckham for England and stuff, so... Anyway, it deserves a mention, a discussion, and a closer look, because I think, from now onwards, sure, Chelsea fans have known about him for a long time, but everyone's starting to talk about him now. When they're doing sections of on him on Match of the Day, and he's being highlighted, people have taken notice and really his trajectory should be one way and he looks like he's got a good professional attitude and work ethic not an attitude problem so therefore you put your money on him getting better and better and better and who knows he may well become the best right guys that's my video on reese james but i want to take a minute to plug to you guys my second channel yan's yard where i do more 
sort of informal content, not just about Chelsea Football Club, it's like gaming, vlogging stuff, talking about football generally. The link is in the top of the description and I want to urge you guys to go check it out and support me by subscribing, watching some of the videos and seeing what you think, giving your feedback down in the comment section on that second channel. But if you have enjoyed today's video on Reese James, please do like the video and get down in the comments below. Let me know how good you think Reese James can be. Do you think he can be the best? Does he stand up well against the defensive capabilities of Wamba Saka and the offensive capabilities of Trent Alexander Arnold? What do you think? Do you think it's just too much hype early doors or do you literally think the kid has got it all? Get down in the comments and let me know. Also, why not follow me on social media at Football Yannick, that's at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Other than that, that's it from me guys, so I'm gonna bounce. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby